right, the Nets look at inbound. Jeff Green gets it into Durant. Here is Durant moving on Tucker. He turns, he shoots. Yes! With one second remaining. One second left. From watching these past seasons of the NBA playoffs, you know what I just realized? It's the fact that rarely ever do the two best teams in the NBA actually meet each other in the finals. A weird but factual question. In fact, over the last 35 NBA seasons, only four times have the two best teams in the league met each other in the finals. If you think about it, it's kind of surprising. Despite an 82 game season and several playoff games played, there are still many upsets, injuries, and other variables that knock off the best teams in the league every season. This got me thinking, what is the best team to never reach the NBA finals? Now, to answer this question, we could simply find the best team each season in terms of win-loss and check if they made it to the finals. But if you have ever watched any other video on this channel, you know that's not how we do things around here. And just measuring a team based on their record does not tell the whole story. The Heat are going to the NBA Finals. Now, since there are many factors that can make a team greater or worse than another, I use a machine learning model in order to assess how far that team can make it into the playoffs, using about every single statistic under the sun. Take a gander. I use many statistics that measure the team's postseason experience, star power, shooting, rebounding, and overall regular season dominance. I forgot to mention, we'll be assessing every NBA team ever since 1950. With that said, here's what the machine learning model had as the top 10 most important factors related to potential playoff wins. So as you can see, obviously the overall record of the team is by far the most important, followed by margin of victory, and oddly enough, how experienced is the coach in the playoffs? Other interesting factors are like the team's defensive rating, their point differential against the most elite teams in the NBA, can they dominate on the boards, their overall recent and past playoff experience of the players, and lastly, does the team have stars, with the total amount of all NBA selections and MVP shares of the roster being crucial factors. Now when evaluating these results, a champion share of 1-13 represents a non-playoff contending team, scores entering the mid-teens and upper 20s have shown to be playoff teams throughout NBA history, scores of 35 and up are good teams, entering the upper 40s are great teams, and scores peaking into the upper 50s have shown to be title favorites. Now when looking back at the last four seasons, we can see this is quite an accurate list of the top teams in the league at that time. The actual champion tends to be in the top three mix, and despite our opinions on who the best team is each season, most of our picks would be in this top six. With that said, here's a chart of the top 25 best non-finals teams in NBA history. In 25th place, we have the 1980 Boston Celtics led by a rookie Larry Bird that lost to the 76ers in the ECF. Next, we see a more recent team that we all remember being absolutely smashed by Luka in Game 7, and that was the 2022 Phoenix Suns. Next, we'll see the 2008 Pistons that lost in the ECF, the Spurs in 2011 that lost to the eight-seeded Grizzlies in Round 1, 2009 Boston Celtics losing to the Magic in seven games in the East second round. Now we'll see the 2001 Spurs that got swept by Shaq and Kobe in the WCF. Dave Cowens' 1975 Celtics losing to the Bullets in the ECF. Now we'll see the 1981 Sixers losing to the mighty Boston Celtics. Next we'll see the 2017 Spurs that got swept by the Juggernaut Warriors in the Western Conference Finals. And in 1973, Dave Cowens' Celtics would lose again, but this time to the New York Knicks in the ECF. Now we'll see a great Thunder team back in 2014 with a score of 69.03. Two great Spurs teams in 2012 and 2016. From 1998 to 2017, the Spurs were contenders about every single year. Next we'll see the Pistons losing to the eventual champions in the Miami Heat back in 06. Another 06 upset with the one-seeded Spurs being spoiled by the four-seeded Mavs in the West second round. Kareem's 1973 Milwaukee Bucks rank as the fifth best non-finals team ever. In fourth, we have the one-seeded Lakers who got upset by the Suns in 1990. Bill Russell's Celtics in 1967 land in third with a score of 73.59. In second, we have Wilt Chamberlain's 1968 Philadelphia 76ers who lost to the team they beat last year, that being Bill Russell's Boston Celtics. And finally, the best team to never reach the finals is the 1986 Los Angeles Lakers. Now if we look at this table which shows the top 10 most dominant teams in NBA history according to our model's results, we'll see that this 1986 Lakers team was the third best team in NBA history. 
So how does arguably a top 5 team in NBA history not make it to the finals? Was it injury or chemistry? In fact, it was neither. Now from looking at the details of the series, you could say that the size of the Rockets was also a deciding factor. A 7'4 Ralph Sampson helped contain Kareem, and a young 7'0 Akeem Olajuwon was left to feast on the Lakers' smaller forwards. As Akeem averaged 31, 11, and 4 a game versus the Lakers in the 86 Western Conference Finals. Now I've been doing NBA research for a while now, and Akeem Olajuwon always finds a way to make it into my headlines. From leading a six-seeded team to back-to-back -to -back championships, and now outclassing the third best team in NBA history. Now from diving deeper into the results, I was curious to see what franchises had the most letdown seasons in NBA history. As you can clearly see, the Celtics and Spurs by far are the most appearances on this list, giving the fact that being a Spurs or Celtics fan can be very heartbreaking. Something interesting is how the Celtics have had many more letdown seasons than the Lakers. As we know, both of these teams are tied for the most titles in franchise history with 17 each. With that said, it might be fair to say now that the Celtics should have won more titles than the Lakers. And from looking at this list, I really expect to see more current teams, like the 21 Nets, 18 Rockets, or even the 2016 Thunder. But according to our results, history found other teams that were more dominant that season. Something else that popped into my mind while looking at these results is what dynasty was truly the best? From using all of our team and season data, we can answer this. So let's rank the top 10 greatest dynasties in NBA history using our model results. So to compute this dynasty score, I simply took that dynasty's top 5 projected champion share seasons, added with their actual champion share, and averaged it all to get our dynasty score. Basically, I combined their best actual and projected playoff wins and averaged them. With that, here's a chart of the top 10 NBA dynasties according to our model. In 10th, we have the 94 and 95 Rockets with only a score of 43.27. 9th, we see a big jump to the Pistons in the late 80s, going back to back in 89 and 90. I honestly expected to see them higher on this list. I mean, Shaq was so dominant that teams had to construct their rosters with extra bigs just to give him fouls. Let me be clear. They don't call fouls every single time you foul him. Like there's times where he's going up for a dunk and you just do a flyby and you hit his wrist. And he's like, watch out little fella, I'll break your wrist next time. With that said, in seventh place, it's the second longest lasting dynasty in NBA history. That being the Spurs with Tim Duncan. The Spurs never went back to back, but through 11 long seasons managed to win five titles. Sixth is the Heat with LeBron. I think we know just how good this team was. Four straight finals and back-to-back -back championships. Fifth is the Larry Bird Boston Celtics back in the 80s. This team like the Spurs never went back-to-back, -back, but won three titles altogether throughout those eight years. Fourth is now the 83-88 Lakers with Magic and Kareem. About every dynasty list had him as top three, but our results say otherwise. Third is the current Golden State Warriors. With Kevin Durant, this team was by far the most unstoppable offensive team in NBA history. And in second, it's the Chicago Bulls with Michael Jordan. In my opinion, this should be the best dynasty ever. However, the most dominant dynasty ever is the 55 through 65 Boston Celtics with Bill Russell. 11 titles, eight straight championships, and 12 finals appearances no one will ever touch that mark ever again. With that, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.